Hello guys and welcome to my channel. In this video we're gonna sculpt the metahuman in Meshmar 4. We're gonna sculpt it in engine. We're not going uh, out of engine in Blender of, uh, or ZBrush. We're just gonna do it in uh, in Meshmar 4 to see uh, what results we could achieve uh, simply in engine. So let's open Meshmar 4. We will select our uh, metahuman which is the Tore. We will create a new morph target, face morph. We will name it face morph. Okay. Let's open the new newly created morph target by double clicking it. And now let's uh, switch our material mode to existing material so we can see exactly how uh, our meta human uh, our meta human uh, would uh, look like and let's select move we will uh, work with symmetry enabled because we want to affect both sides equally and uh, yeah let's uh, start uh, doing some work here we will start with the ears we want to, to do some changes that uh, uh, are very visible uh, at first try. Okay. This looks kind of cute. They look like uh, bat ears, maybe. Maybe, yeah. Okay. Uh, I want to smooth a little bit our head here. Okay. Heads are not fully symmetric, even though they should be, but they're not. So sometimes we have to do changes on each side uh, individually. And now let's switch back to move and enable symmetry. Let's uh, make it a little bit uh, tougher, this matter human. Let's uh, try to make it a little bit uh, angry. Probably, yeah, widen a little bit the chin and bring it a little bit, a little bit out like this. His face should be a little bit wider, probably. Let's decrease a little bit the uh, uh, breast size and widen the nose. Yeah, and uh, let's hold control so we can uh, move uh, the vertices along the normal. So we will make the nose a little bit longer like this. Re-enable symmetry. These cheekbones should be a little bit uh, more uh, pronounced. Yeah. I'm not really sure about the nose, but for now it's fine. Let's make it so he's a little bit round. Yes. Starting to, to look a little bit uh, 
better. She's a killer. Let's try to smooth a little bit. And let's do another thing. Let's select the eyes three. We, we need to select uh, eyes uh, sections three, four, five. These are the sections, mesh sections uh, that uh, the eyes are using. So. Okay, uh, section 6 uh, uh, is used uh, by the eyelashes, so now we can go to transform and just move a little bit the eyes out. Okay. You don't have to do all this, we're just playing around, so yeah. I'm trying to make it a little bit fun. We're moving again, we're holding control and moving along the normals. Trying to make a, an, uh, a nose that uh, will make our metahuman look very angry and like a fighter. I think this is it. He got punched in the nose like a thousand times. <laughs> it's fine. It looks like uh, he's smiling a little bit. I'm not sure I enjoy this uh, very much, so... try to make it so he's uh, a little bit uh, angry let's smooth okay I think uh, his uh, nose uh, should be a little bit uh, up. Kind of like this. Yeah. And his uh, forehead probably should uh, look a little bit uh, wider here. Let's try again. Maybe smooth a little bit. Like this, yeah. Let's save it.
and let's see how it looks in skeletal mesh preview. Yep. Is something else for sure. Uh, always check uh, loads. Let's see level of detail one. Let's enable it. Looks fine. Level of detail two looks fine. Here on level of detail 3, we're starting to have some troubles. Yeah, uh, to fix the level of details in uh, certain cases, like uh, our case here, where we move the eyes, we played with the eyes, so uh, we will have some uh, troubles with it. Uh, we can go to edit settings and here we have use uv projection for lods they select this and use a threshold of one smooth iterations don't use any and or you can use one it doesn't matter you should play with these values it doesn't really matter uh, close this and apply to lods we will reapply this uh, morph target to uh, all LODs. Okay, this is it. Let's try again. Let's see how it looks like. Much better, we don't have the artifacts. We solved the problem. Yeah, and LOD7. Yes, our, our morph target now works perfectly fine on all uh, LODs. Yeah, so uh, this is it for uh, for this uh, video guys uh, i hope uh, it helped you to understand what we can uh, achieve with mesh morpher and uh, yeah like the video if you like it dislike it if you disliked it don't forget to subscribe and see you around bye